for Abbas Wayne Goodsell, uh, we've got a fraud alert. Apparently there's a Mormon who watched my video where I go over the world conspiracy source origin <coughs> of Adam on Diamond. And he did a video. <coughs> and he didn't do his research. <laughs> and as a result, I did my research. And we've got bombshell. <laughs> when are Mormons going to learn? You can't defend corruption. Just stop. All right. Well, the naive Mormons video uh, is about a talk that supposedly Joseph gave on June 2nd, 1839. It's from the Journal of Discourses, not the Joseph Smith Papers. Uh-oh! <laughs> I did my research. This kid didn't. It's from Volume 6, pages 237 and 240. And he's got the whole volume here on his computer. So he's able to reference all of them, it looks like. <coughs> Very curious. Or actually, he's doing it through a website. jod.mrm.org uh, slash 6 slash 237. And so apparently... Oh, yeah, I can't scroll down. <laughs> It's titled, The Priesthood, The Second Advent, The Gathering, Spiritual Ministrations, and Manifestations. Now listen to this. It's a synopsis of an address by Joseph Smith, President Joseph Smith, delivered in Commerce, Illinois. Anybody paying attention to how to study church history, to do confirmations, have your separate pages for people, places, dates, and events. And so that when you see something that coincides with one of them, you can verify by going to the others. So in this particular case, the date that is the same is June 2nd, 1839. Joseph Smith, also supposedly the same person. He's in Commerce, Illinois, on Tuesday, June 2nd, 1839. We can even check time and date to make sure that's the correct day. Eighteen thirty nine and June second is Sunday. I didn't type it wrong. Calendar year for eighteen thirty nine, June second, Sunday. Tuesday is the fourth. Oops, who did this? It's in Journal of Discourses. This is straight from the Journal of Discourses. JODMRM.org slash 6 slash 237. In Journal of Discourses, Public Sermons by Mormon Leaders from 1851 to 1886. And they got the wrong day and the wrong date. It says it's Commerce, Illinois. And here's something interesting reported by unknown. Huh. So, let's go to the Joseph Smith Papers. There's only one thing for June 2nd, 1839. Is my picture all a blur? No. Good. <laughs> it's Minutes and Discourses. First and second June 1839. It was a two-day meeting 
that was a council of the quorum of seventies was held on the first day of June 1839 and then down at the bottom it says continued on the second day June 2nd and so they did Sunday or Saturday and Sunday because we saw time and date confirmed that's when it was according to the adjournment in Quincy and it's blue so you click on it and it shows Quincy Illinois Phase two of verifying, we have one that says Quincy, and already we know that we can't trust the Journal of Discourses. <laughs> and so, Google Maps shows Commerce, Illinois, as being at a little bend. Uh, between Fort Madison and Keokuk. Quincy is about 40 miles away, just a little over 40 miles away, straight shot. And you have to go a little bit off the straight shot because of the river that bends in. And so they didn't have cars back then. They took horse. And so you need to find out how far does a horse travel in a day? 20 to 35 miles. This is 40 miles. You know, if you get a good run in, you can get 50 miles out of a good horse. You know, get a sprinting horse, you can go 100 miles, but they didn't have those back then. So 20 to 30, it's a day away. A day and a half almost. So who's claiming Joseph Smith was in commerce when the Joseph Smith papers, which is a more reliable primary source document? And so we have uh, met at the committee room at the council called to order and opened by prayer by President Joseph Young, President of the Councilors, Joseph Young, Josiah, or Josiah Butterfield, Zira Pulsifer, Henry Harry Harriman and President Joseph Smith Jr., Sidney Rigdon, and Hiram Smith were also present and most of the twelve. So you'd think they'd know to put in correct information. Most of the twelve, can we assume? Yeah, it says twelve apostles and in Young's brother was there brothers there's apparently there's President Joseph Young president of the councilors J Young Josiah Butterfield Zira why would they repeat it unless it's a Josiah but there's no commas between the names so I'm assuming that it's J Josiah Butterfield and then J Young but yeah because there'd be two counselors well there'd be four counselors if Jay Young is not a repeat and I don't think I mean, we could check Brigham Young's brothers and sisters uh, there's Phineas Young Joseph Young Lorenzo Dow Young John Young. So there are two J's. Huh. And so Joseph Young, the older brother, and then it could be John Young. No, it says Joseph. So they repeated it. 
Are we sure it's Joe? Oh, son of John Young. Son of John Young. Yeah, okay, they repeated it. But again, we can't trust too much, but it's still more reliable than the Journal of Discourses that this Mormon is thinking to blame Joseph Smith for. And now we're starting to blur. And so, uh, you can skim over it. Uh, President Joseph Smith June gave the 70s much instruction about what things they should teach and manner of communication the gospel to the children of men. Joseph Smith or President Hiram Smith. Yeah, that's 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 it. That's just this one paragraph. Uh, you know, what they should teach and communicate to the children of men on many su other subjects, especially enjoining it upon the elders to keep and render a just account of all monies put into their hands for any purpose whatever which account should be rendered to the bishop of the church and spoke had great great length on the sub on the subject of every steward being just who has anything entrusted to his charge and be able to at all times to give an account of his stewardship i don't see anything about the last days <laughs> And that's it. That was Joseph. He started. And then Hiram. And then Jedediah M. Grant. Uh, and then he did another thing. Uh, charge having been prefer preferred by Elder Eller Stoker against Elder William Niswanga for lying and defrauding. Ooh, it was a fun meeting. <laughs> <laughs> William <laughs> lied and defrauded. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> Excommunicate him! Fun meeting! Yay! And so, yeah, letters of recommendation were voted to William Whiteman uh, and others. And then met on Sunday morning, June 2nd, according to adjournment. They were to adjourn till Sunday morning at 8 a.m. And so, uh, it doesn't say how long, but again, they wouldn't have made it by the end of the day for the evening for whatever this is. <laughs> this is a fraud right here in the Journal of Discourses. You know, maybe it's the wrong day? Do we still have time and date? We do not. Eighteen thirty-nine. Uh, well, yeah, it would have been the second, but then we'd have to check so it'd be the fourth. So let's see. Okay, so there's thirds. Here's a fourth, a bill of damages. I don't think that's it. <laughs> bill of damages against the state of Missouri and the count of the suffering and losses sustained therein. March 16, 1838, I, with my family, arrived in Far West, Caldwell County, after a journey 1,000 miles, being eight weeks of the journey, $100. Soon thereafter, Davies County, Shoal Creek. Yeah, there's no prophesying about the latter days here. <laughs> Sorry. I, I mean, we would have to go through and check everything, and that's unreasonable. It's absurd at this point. There's, it's too great of an error. Whoops, don't want that because that'll put it. Uh. Okay, that, 
that puts the burden on us to prove that this is right. <laughs> and of course, Mormon apologists love that kind of thing. All right, well, here's what it says. The priesthood was first given to Adam. He or obtained the first presidency, and he held the keys of it from generation to generation. He obtained it in the creation before the world was formed, as in Genesis uh, 1, verse 20, 26, and 28. It's a weird designation, it's dissimilar from our own scriptural footnotes. He had dominion given him over every creature. He is Michael the Archangel, spoken of in the scriptures. Then to Noah, who is Gabriel. He stands next in authority to Adam in the priesthood. He was called of God to this office. See, everything seems fine. This is what all Mormons know. <clears throat> Although I'm not sure if many know that Gabriel is Noah. <laughs> Gabriel was there for the earthquake on March 18th, 2020. I did those videos for you. He was called of God to this office and was the father of all living in this day. He is our father, the only one to whom we have to do. That's from the Adam God doctrine. But yes, he is our father, mortality. So they're separating him from God in this one. Interesting. But it's right there with 1851. It's volume 6. Okay, well, it just says 1851 to 1886, and it's pages 237, so it's much later than 1851, then. Uh, let's see if we can find how many pages volume 6 is. source. Okay. Um, Three hundred eighty four pages. And so it's yeah, way so three eighty four. 384 and uh, then it goes as early as 235. So 9, 4, 1. So it's 149 pages in. So almost half. So 1851. All things being considered equal in length of talks. So this is all just a rough estimate. So 35. No, that's not what I want. We want. Yeah, it's half of 35. So it's about 17. And so 17 is 68, 69 when it was given, approximately. Because it doesn't seem to indicate a date here. It just gives us the page number. 
from page 237 specifically and then 238 yeah he keeps on reading huh. okay so let me keep on reading these men held keys first on earth and then in heaven the priesthood is an everlasting principle and existed with God from eternity and will to eternity without beginning of days or end of years. The keys have been have to be brought from heaven whether the gospel is sent. Whenever the gospel is sent. When they are revealed from heaven, it is by Adam's authority. Daniel 7 speaks of the ancient of days. He means the oldest man, our father Adam. Michael. He will call his children together and hold a council with them to prepare them for the coming of the Son of Man. He is Adam. He, Adam, is the father of the human family and presides over the spirits of all men. All that have had keys, the keys, must stand before him in this grand council. This may take place before some of us leave this stage of action. The Son of Man stands before him, and there is given him glory and dominion. That's not what this says. <laughs> Lucifer stands before the Son of Man and gives him the keys. <laughs> Adam delivers up his stewardship to Christ that which was delivered to him as holding the keys of the universe but retains his standing as head of the human family the spirit of man is not a created being angels always stand before the father told to multiply and was told to multiply the key are they going to talk about polygamy? I s on the other page, I'd have to click back and forth. I saw Adam in the valley of Adam on Diamond, and he called together his children and foretold the latest generation. Okay. So that's it. That's interesting. The priesthood is everlasting. The Savior, Moses, and Elias gave their gave the keys to Peter, James, and John on the mount when they were transfigured. You're not going to talk about the Kirtland Temple that the Savior, Moses, and Elias gave it, or Elijah gave it to Joseph Smith. How have we come at the priesthood in the last days? It came down down in regular succession. Peter, James, and John had it given to them, and they gave it to others. Christ is the great high priest. Adam next. Huh. So that's a new doctrine. So the Kirtland Temple has been bypassed. It's now Peter, James, and John who had mo those three guys' Mount of Transfiguration keys. And they gave it because right there it is. Peter, James, and John had it given to them and they gave it to others. Like Joseph Smith. Huh. That's how they justified it, huh? But uh, yeah, this ancient, or the Adam on Diamond, a complete and utter fraud. Let's see if we can find. the end here. When a number of Christ comes, he's not going to show it for us. So, yeah, he just goes back to the beginning again at the end. A synopsis of an address by President Joseph Smith, delivered in Commerce, Illinois, Tuesday, June 2nd, 1839, 
reported by unknown. Reported by unknown is also a, a very weird thing. And uh, let's find out. Oh, it started to blur. Let's uh, find out again who did this and how many views he's gotten in two days. That's not the one. Okay. Joseph Smith's dream. There it is. Kitty. Four point nine K views have been brainwashed by this guy. Consider the truth. Wow. That's why it's important to do your research. Should I close in the name of Jesus Christ? <laughs>